Nicole Kidman disappears into her character in the crime drama Destroyer. But don't go searching for spoilers on this film because otherwise you're gonna ruin the surprise. Kidman is Detective Aaron Bell, and she goes undercover to infiltrate a gang, along with her partner, Chris, played by Sebastian Stan. Kidman is almost unrecognizable in her role as Aaron Bell. I mean, she is haggard and tired and just beaten up by life. And her character, I don't like some of the choices that she makes. I mean, I just, I completely disagree with them, but they are true to who her character is. So I don't like the decisions, but they feel real. The story of Destroyer is one of revenge, but also atonement. And so you have these themes interwoven just back and forth throughout the entire film. And that's what drives Nicole Kidman the entire time. Now there is a mystery in the film of what Nicole Kidman is trying to do, but more so the whole film is really a character piece. I mean, it really is focused on who that character of Aaron Bell is, what she's doing, what has driven her to this point, and that's way more interesting than the mystery that she's trying to solve. Now, the film itself is beautifully shot. I mean, the cinematography was outstanding, and just some of the ways that they used like wide landscapes and then also up close to just really focus in, and you get, you get an intimate look at Nicole Kidman and what she's feeling, and, and it really puts you in her place. But some of the editing was just, they, they needed to cut down some of these long shots or they needed to cut down some of these montages because what happens is, I get it. I, we're driving through LA and I get so many different scenes of the freeway where I'm just, I begin to get bored because they are so long and so drawn out. And I really, throughout the film, I didn't have a good sense of time anyway, because it seemed like it would go day to night or night to day, and I couldn't really tell sometimes, well, is this the same day or is it the next day or did we go through night or what's going on? And so to even have these really long shots just messed with me more. And I think that editing them down, cutting them up a little bit, just condensing it would have moved the pace of the film just up slightly so that as these scenes are going on, I don't get bored. And then there's a whole montage at the very, very end. It's a little drawn out and I, I kind of know what they were doing, but also at the very end of the film, it felt like, hey, we don't know exactly how to end it. Do we just go to black or what do we do? And so they did this, this just this video slow-mo B-roll montage. And again, it felt long and it felt unnecessary and, and almost self-serving that they wanted, they had these extra shots and they wanted to do something artistic or whatever. Some of it made sense for what they were telling in the story and some of it didn't. And so that extraneous stuff really could have been cut way down or cut completely out. And it wouldn't have changed the ending and it wouldn't have changed the meaning of the ending or the feeling. As far as some of the supporting characters, Bradley Whitford did an excellent job. He is a lawyer and he just is a dirtbag. And you don't like him and he is just slimy and you want him, I mean, you want something bad to happen to him. Now, does it? I'm not gonna tell you, but you, you just don't like him and you're not supposed to like him and that's the best part. And I just, I thought he was great when he was on screen because he's just so full of himself and so self-absorbed, so self-important and arrogant and yet I'm drawn to him. Tatiana Maslany from Orphan Black is also in this and she is just about unrecognizable also. I mean, she you go from her looking really good to then 17 years later, just haggard and bad. And at that point, you couldn't really recognize her. And also she resembled her orphan black character, Helena, Sistra. But she, it was crazy. And she did a really good job too. We have other supporting characters like Toby Cabell, Scoot McNary, and Sebastian Stan, and they did awesome also. I mean, they were great to watch, but they're not in it a lot. And so when they are, they're great, but again they're just they're, they're there to support the story and that's what they do really well and they they don't stand out and you don't see them you see their character more than anything the story is depressing but i found it to be authentic and by the end of it i didn't feel manipulated or cheated by the story or by the ending so i really enjoyed that part of it now i don't think destroyer got a wide release and that's a shame because that meant that a lot of people haven't had the opportunity yet to see it this could be Nicole Kidman's best performance to date. 
I mean, she is outstanding in this. There is sex, but no nudity. There's a lot of profanity and a lot of violence. I give Destroyer four and a half out of five couches. What is your favorite crime film? I'd love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.